Hi guys, in this video I will walk you through how to uh, plot the stock market data using MPL Finance package. So this is the MPL Finance PyPy page. So you can install uh, MPL Finance by uh, just using a pip install command. So this is the documentation, you can go through it, I will uh, put a link to the page in the video description so let's go to my notebook so I have already uh, installed the MPL finance package so uh, first I will import the libraries so the libraries which I am importing are uh, Yahoo finance uh, it is for uh, getting the stock market data uh, MPL finance package will work uh, if you have your own data also it is not uh, a it is not necessary that you have to uh, import the data from Yahoo finance but I find it very easy uh, to easy source to obtain data and then I am importing MPL finance as MPF then pandas for data manipulation and viewing of data frames and all and uh, for uh, importing the csv data and then i am importing warnings and i am just filtering the warnings so getting the data we can get the data uh, through yahoo finance and also we can get the data through the uh, csv file also i'll do one thing first i will uh, get the data from csv file so i have uh, tesla st stock market data which i have downloaded uh, using uh, uh, yahoo finance i have saved it as uh, csv file so first i will do one thing i'll just uh, import the data using uh, a read csv panda dot read is a read csv function so i have imported the data now let's have a look at the data data dot head let's see what is there in the data so this data has date open high low close volume and then dividends and uh, stock splits so dividends and stock splits are actually not required so what we require for uh, MPL finance is these columns should be there date should be there open high low and close should be the column names and also date should be in date time format so let's see and the date should be the index so these are the requirements so let's see how is the data so here date is object it is not in date time format we have to convert it into uh, date time format so that the MPL finance package package will be able to uh, perform uh, plotting function in the data and also uh, there is an index we don't need the index so index should be date so these are the pre-processing which are required for uh, matplotlib finance so first thing I am doing is data okay so first I am changing the date from object type to date time so it is uh, done by using pd dot to date time function and then uh, i am setting the date as index so i am performing this pre-processing so and uh, we'll just see how the data looks we'll just plot the default data so for that i will just use mpf dot plot function and i'll give the data okay so this is the data okay so this is how we can plot the uh, data from csv file so before going into the uh, different types of data and before uh, different types of charts and uh, other customization uh, we'll just see how we can get the data using yahoo finance 
so I have uh, imported Yahoo Finance uh, in the beginning so I am going to download uh, Tesla data Tesla data and history I'm giving five years now I'll just give one year I'll just give the get the one year data of Tesla and it will be uh, in the name Tesla TSLA so mpf dot plot uh, Tesla okay so I'm, I can just plot the data and I can also save the figure also uh, so if when you are using MPF uh, MPL finance you can save the date uh, save the figure also uh, so for that you have to use save fig and after that you can give the file name uh, including the uh, extension so uh, I am saving the figure as img dot png it, it will be saved as a png file so if no extension is specified by default it will be saved as a png file uh, you can save the data as uh, jpeg or C, uh, or svg or pdf or whichever format you require by providing the extension so let's see how the data will get plotted okay here it is getting saved So this is the this is how the data will get plotted. So this is uh, as you know it is actually downloaded from the data is coming from Yahoo Finance. So the basic chart the the default chart is a OHLCV OHLC chart. So OHLC chart actually like it 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 gives all the open high low and closing prices in one chart it is something similar to a candle light uh, candle stick chart so there is a small bar in the left side so that signifies the open price and then this is the close price and the highest point of the line is uh, high for the day and the lowest is the low for the day okay So let's see how we can do some basic slicing of the data okay so I am just interested interested in 2011 data then I can just give uh, a date of 2011 since the uh, index is date and it is in the date time format so we can uh, slice it by giving uh, year year and date etc so if I if I want to get the data for uh, 2021 just the January month I can give 01 so it will give 2021 January only so this is how we can do some slicing so now let's look at some types of the charts so as I told you the uh, the default chart is OHLC, OHLC chart so instead like if you want to see the line chart we can see the line chart so this is line chart and I have given uh, 2020 so this is the uh, how the Tesla stock traded in 2020 so next type of chart is candlestick chart candlestick chart is very popular among uh, traders so in candlestick chart there are two types of chart uh, white so generally there are two uh, different types either the uh, white and black and white or red and uh, green so usually if the share price rises in a day it will be shown in a white or a green chart uh, green bar and if the share price decreases uh, during a period it will be shown as, shown as a uh, black or a red color chart so another chart is a uh, Renko chart so in Renko chart the uh, the movement is actually plotted as squares so there are uses for these things 
different different uh, uses so i'm not going into details of that and then there is point and figure chart so a point and figure chart looks like this so it can be used for identifying the trend so another very important data is volume so traders are not just interested in the uh, in the movement of the stocks they are also interested in volume so we can add volume also so here i am uh, plotting uh, a tesla's 2021 movement so the type i am using is candle and i have set volume equal to true so now you can see that the volume is also plotted below so you can see that there is a big sell off on uh, like i don't know the date so probably like uh, towards the end of uh, february i think that was the day when uh, elon musk tweeted that he's going to accept bitcoin or something <laughs> and then you can see that initially like there was a the volume was very high and the price also went up so there was a buying pressure uh in the beginning of january so like there are a lot of inferences people can the traders can derive uh from volume and the share price movement so this will help them to make their decisions and another very important indicator is moving averages so we can add moving averages also into our chart so here i am going to plot candlestick chart for uh, the second half second half of 2020 and i have set volume equal to true to plot moving averages we have to uh, specify the uh, number of period so i am plotting a 20 day moving average and also a 5 day moving average and also we can specify the fig ratio and you note that i have set tight lay layout equal to true so i will show you what tight layout does so in this uh, chart you can see there is a uh, small distance between the y axis and the starting of the chart so if you want to remove the distance you can uh, set tight layout equal to true i'll do that tight underscore layout equal to true okay so now you can see that the chart starts from the beginning and ends at the end of the x axis so that's what a uh, tight layout does so let's see how the how this chart with moving average comes out okay see this is the chart and i have added uh, a 5 point 5 day moving average and a 20 day move 20 period 20 day moving average okay so this is the 5 day moving average it is shown in the purple color so this actually like moving averages can be used to iron out the uh, the daily fluctuations so when you are looking at a period i mean like if you are doing a swing trade or something uh you might be interested in the you might not be interested in the daily fluctuations and then uh moving averages are also used as trading signals so as entry and exit points so when we have to get into the trade when we have to get out of the trade so those are the things like uh, different uh, strategies which traders use so now let's customize the chart so here i am going to uh, use a style as ya uh, yahoo style okay i'm setting style as yahoo so this will plot the graph in the green and red color scheme which we are all very familiar it is the the i think the most commonly used uh, team so like uh, if you have a trading app or if you see the uh, financial uh, news channels you can always see the a chart in which uh, this color scheme is followed so 
I have added uh, two moving averages, a 20 period mo moving average and a 5 period moving average. Okay. So let's see the different types of styles available. So you have seen uh, Yahoo style. So we will just see what are the styles which are which are available in MPO Finance. So these are the types which are available. So there is a Binance style, there is Blue Skies. You are you can like try out all the different types of styles, and also how uh, each style will be rendered is also provided as an example in the uh, official documentation. You can check out that. So now I will do one thing. I'll just um, plot uh, GME. So here you see I have given a given period. So earlier when I downloaded the data, okay. So uh, I have another tutorial on Yahoo Finance. You can check out that. You will get into get to know what are the different types of arguments and uh, everything about that. We will just upload uh, the data. So here, what is the change which I am doing? Okay, I have added everything. So this is uh, three months GameStop data. Volume also I have added. And here I have added a title. Title can be specified using uh, title keyword. Title layout, style, everything, everything is added. So now I will upload the intraday data. Intraday data. Mm, today is 26, so I will get the data of 25. 25. So I can get the data of 26 March by this by, by providing start as. Uh, 25th March and uh, providing the end as 26th March and for intraday I am getting the data in 5 minute interval I can get it in 1 minute interval also I will just stick to 1 minute interval type title title Microsoft uh, 25 March data 2021 fig ratio moving averages I will add to that then tight layout I will set it as true and I will uh, show you another style so I am using the style mic and I, I will also save the data uh, save the chart as msft.png so let's do it ok so I have actually saved the data so the data is not uh, visible I will just remove the save fig now I think it will uh, display the data okay so it will give a dark theme Mike is a dark theme so you can uh, explore the other themes so that's it from me guys so I will add the notebook in my uh, uh, github repo and I will give the I will post the link to the notebook uh, in my video description I have also written a tutorial on MPF finance in uh, medium if you prefer the reading version then you can check that out also I will add a link to that also in the video description so guys if you have any uh, doubts or if you need any further clarification with the MPL finance package you can add it in comments if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and also let me know if you uh, are interested in any specific topic thank you guys keep coding bye